This is Witchspace News for Friday the 10th of May 2019 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...are our AX efforts turning the tide of the war ...there's an elite speedrun competition happening ...and the first interstellar initiative bears fruit. If you enjoy our content please remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. Remember you can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to both of those and also where you can find us on all your favourite social media platforms are in the description below. In a gigantic effort by AX pilots from across the bubble of human occupied space 14 Thargoid incursion war zones were shut down and cleared of the green menace this week. The effort which saw a huge push from organisations like the AXI, the Hive, the Hand and the Squadrons of Humanity resulted in the first massive victory we've seen in the Thargoid invasion since it properly started to kick off around 2 years ago. The Thargoid War updates on the Elite servers every Thursday when the servers reboot in a cycle that has become known as Thargs Day. This week when the servers came back online 14 systems under Thargoid incursion that had remained so for a number of weeks were finally liberated and only 5 new systems fell under incursion with a further 6 systems being identified by the Eagle Eye sensor network as targeted by the Thargoids and showing signs of infestation. Could this be a turning point in the war? Could we actually drive the peril plants out of the bubble? Only time will tell and it'll be fascinating to see what next Thargs Day brings. I'm generally quite an optimist at heart, my glass is always half full but I can't help but wonder if we push back this hard against the horror daisies is there not a chance that they'll up the ante even more and push back twice as hard. I've seen that movie. It doesn't end well. For more details on the Thargoids movements be sure to check out my weekly Thargoid report which is linked on screen now. The well known YouTuber and serial tutorial creator Gentleman Pirate and Mentor Commander Exegius has announced that he is to host the games first ever speedrun to elite competition. The commander recently attempted the run himself in a mammoth livestream and managed to go from nothing to elite in around 12 hours. He's now hosting the games first competition to complete the gargantuan feat in record time with prizes up for grabs from Frontier for first, second and third place. For more details on how to compete and take a run at this most unusual of elite targets there's links below to the commanders discord server. And finally the first interstellar initiative which is ongoing at the moment bore fruit this week with the arrival of the promised megaship ferry service from Zenday system in the bubble to the Guardian site in Sinuf ENH D1196. The two new megaships called the Conduit and Saddler's Song will depart every Thursday when the server reboots. If you're on board one of the ships when the servers boot you'll find yourself in the destination at the other end of the pipeline from where you started. There's also two new outpost style space stations as well. One is about halfway between the two ends of the ferry service in the Rego XQL C2129 system. The other is in Guardian space next to the ferry megaship. The first ferry trip will take place next Thursday. You can of course just fly down there yourself right now. The next phase of the initiative starts next Thursday as well and continues with community gold style objectives for a couple of weeks thereafter. I won't go into detail here about what those goals entail or what the potential outcome will be so as to avoid dragging you, dear viewer, into spoiler territory. Frontier have detailed it on their forums behind a spoiler warning if you want to see where we're headed. I've linked that in the thread below. I will say that there is a trade based community goal coming up which is based out of one of the new outposts which has limited landing spaces for small and medium ships only. Suffice to say parking for this CG is going to be severely limited if the CG proves popular so we'll see how that pans out. There is a decal up for grabs for very limited participation in the event so that might be worth grabbing. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then O7 CMDRs Follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.